Hey guys, this is Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I am an endocrinologist and a diabetes education specialist and a metabolism expert. Now I deal with hormonal disorders and diabetes all the time and today we are talking about a frequently asked question. Eggs, right? So some people think eggs are good for diabetes. Some people think that eggs are bad for diabetes. Would eggs help bring your blood sugar down? Do eggs increase your cholesterol? Do you have to be concerned about it? All those questions we are going to answer today. All right, let's get started. So guys, by the way, make sure you like this video. Make sure you share if you like the content of this video. And I have a request from you. If you can not skip the commercials, that's going to help us dramatically. So if you're one of our fans, if you can watch the ads, even if you don't like them, that will really help us to pay the bill of all the production of these videos. So we appreciate that. Let's move on. So as you know, eggs are delicious. I love eggs. I mean, at some point in my life when I was young, when I was like in a dormitory kind of situation, and it was like a uh, semi-dormitory because I was living in a uh, house with a bunch of people and they were all studying. But you could make your own food. That was a cool part of it, you know? And I pretty much put eggs into everything just because I loved it. And a lot of people love eggs as well. And of course, you know, recently there has been a lot of noise about the eggs. Would it increase your cholesterol or not? You know, if you have cholesterol, should you eat eggs or da 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 da, -da right? So there's some truth to that, but it's not going to be the same for everybody. And I'm going to tell you who can eat eggs and who cannot eat eggs, actually. That's, that's an important part to understand. Generic advice is never good. So when you listen to YouTube videos, you have to be careful. You know, there is a guy who says, okay, this carnivore diet is good for everybody. That's not true. Or plant-based diet is good for everybody. That's not true either. So you have to look at it, discuss with your doctor, make your own judgment, check your blood work, you know, not just your blood sugar, but your cholesterol, your overall health. You don't want to try to fix something and break something else. That's typically what happens, right? So if you're on the mechanic and you go pop your hood and you try to fix you know, part of your engine and you break the other part. That's why there are mechanics. You go to a mechanic and say, hey, dude, can you please help me? Unless, you know, you're, you are a mechanic yourself. Even then, you may not see the problems. Like doctors, we don't treat ourselves. We go to another doctor because we may not see what's wrong with us. We are biased, right? Same thing. It's a good idea to watch those videos and have a knowledge so that you can have an educated discussion with your doctor, but never replace YouTube videos with a discussion with your doctor and treat yourself. Having said that, let's move on to the topic. Now, the eggs are so delicious, they have everything that a live being will need for. Why is that? You know, you have one single cell that turns into a chick with one egg, right? So basically, it has everything one cell needs to turn into something, a live being, a chick. So it is delicious. It has cholesterol in it. And then cholesterol is not necessarily by itself is not a bad thing for you because cholesterol is used for hormones. It is pretty much on the cell membrane of every cell. But as you can imagine, too much of a good thing is not good for you. Now, the question also is like, would it help your diabetes? Well, it will. And here is how. If you are eating cereal every morning, I tell my patients, look, why don't you try eggs? You know, just try eggs and you can make eggs in so many different ways. You can make a veggie omelet. You can put some cheese omelet and make a cheese omelet. You, know, you can make it hard boiled, soft boiled however you want it and the good thing is you don't have to eat all the yolks right so you can eat one yolk to get some taste to it and then have a couple you know egg whites if you are not satisfied with just one egg and you can combine eggs with a lot of other things the vegetables go well with it my favorite is have some feta cheese with some eggs and cucumbers tomatoes maybe some fruit if you want and that's not a carb heavy diabetes breakfast and it's way better than a cereal the cereal or a bagel or anything like that will spike your blood sugar like this it's gonna go to the sky like a rocket okay but anything that has fat and protein will slow the spike even if you have some carbs with it let's say you want to have some watermelon which is not the season right now but let's say you did in the summertime that watermelon's effect even if you had a little bit more than what you are supposed to is not going to be as bad when you're eating protein and some fat with it especially if you're drizzling some olive oil with some mint or something some spices some pepper oh my god you're gonna love eggs like you have never done before so 
that is very important. Now, would it really increase your cholesterol? Well, here's the bottom line. If you're on a very low carbohydrate diet, you have more freedom to have more cholesterol in your diet because you need some cholesterol in your body. If you don't eat that cholesterol, your body will make it from something else, right? Uh, and I'm not going to go into all the details because I know you're, you're not going to have patience to hear the, the end of the video here. But bottom line, your body will make the cholesterol if you don't eat it. Now, one egg has 186 milligram of cholesterol and you need around 300 milligram of cholesterol tops. So that means that you eat two eggs, you're done for the day for the cholesterol. That means that you cannot eat any more red meat or anything like that, you're out. Another trick for the eggs, if you don't want to increase your cholesterol, is number one, if you're on a very low carb diet, which is not achievable for everyone, but it's definitely doable if you want to enjoy more fatty food, more cholesterol food, then you need to go on a very low carbohydrate diet. If you're on a super low carbohydrate diet, unless you're eating like five eggs every morning, like if you're eating two eggs every morning with yolk, it shouldn't be a problem. And of course, make sure you get your cholesterol checked when you make changes like that to make sure that you confirm that that's correct. Now, that is number one. The number two is the eggs that come from the hens that are like uh, cage-free, organic, they will have a lot more omega-3 in them. Remember, if you're having omega-3 fatty acids in your diet, that's going to negate the effect of omega-6 or even some animal fat. That's why we always say, you know, get more omega-3 in your diet, readily available, at, and a ton in olive oil and a fatty fish. So if you're big into Mediterranean type of diet, you know, having eggs in that Mediterranean diet in moderation is not going to be a problem at all. You know, again, I'm a big supporter of Mediterranean diet. I'm not big on just eating red meat and grease and every day, you know, that's because I don't think that's natural. That's not healthy. Everybody craves carbs. So healthy carbs is the way to go. And we have some no-nos like cakes and crackers and uh, biscuits and stuff like that is definitely no no but there are a lot of good carbs that you can enjoy now if your blood sugars are spiking i have a lot of patients who find me on youtube become our patient and i'll hear their stories they say hey doc you know yeah i know that there's some guys out there they say you know don't eat this don't eat that they say like even if a very little thing that i put to my mouth it spikes my blood sugar but everybody is different remember your situation may be very different if your body is making very little insulin already even a protein itself can spike your blood sugar and then if you are really failing to make insulin and you're not really super overweight where you have a ton of insulin in your body already, making adjustments like that may not necessarily fix diabetes. So keep that in mind that if you need a medication sometimes, you need a medication. Going to medication is not the end of the world. There are a lot of happy campers in my practice who eat in moderation, who are on certain medications without side effects. Their advanced is down to six. They're happy. They're still enjoying their life. They don't feel like they're living in a prison and they are still under control. So that's something that you have to work with your practice. Back to eggs. A lot of studies suggest that not everybody responds to the cholesterol in the egg the same way. So up to 30% of people are hyper responders, which means cholesterol off the roof. So if you're one of those people who eat cholesterol and cholesterol goes off the roof, then egg yolks may not be the for you, but you can still go for the egg whites or reduce your yolks only to one yolk a day or something like that. So the bottom line is the eggs are very healthy very nutritious, you can eat in moderation, it can help control your diabetes, especially if you are replacing your high carb breakfast items with eggs. Eggs with avocado, eggs with cheese, eggs with whatever you name it. You can have a hearty, delicious breakfast without causing blood sugar spikes. Unless you're a hyper responder, one or two eggs a day, especially if you're on a low carbohydrate diet, will not spike your cholesterol. So I hope that helps, guys. Remember to subscribe, give a like and share, and we'll see you in the next video.